Hey guys, this is Stefan, and I'm happy to announce the LumaPro 3.1 has just been released that includes an animation-based gazer system, and I thought I'd give you guys a quick demo of LumaPro and show off the animation gazer as well. Uh, what LumaPro is is a HUD. It's worn by the photographer. It gives the photographer um, extensive control of all the stuff that uh, a photographer needs to take care of when doing a shoot. Um, including uh, um, lighting the uh, lighting the model, lighting the scene, as well as uh, posing the model, um, and then and then also now setting the eye position. Um, the in this particular case, I can pose up to four models, and I'm going to uh, use my uh, model Angora here. So the first thing one does is give a set of lights, and I can either self-pose myself or do it with Angora. We'll do it with Angora. She gets a set of lights. Um, Luma Pro hands out an, an infinite number of lights to as many models as you have, and then you just ask the model to wear it. What you'll see is three prim up here. These three prim, red, green, and blue, are not lit up when they first wear them. And uh, let me uh, press one of the quick buttons. I'll press Rembrandt, and poof, you can see, uh, and all of a sudden the lights uh, moved into their uh, moved into a different position, and also um, started illuminating. So there's a red, green, and blue prim. Um, each prim doesn't emit that color of light, but it also um, um, it's just designators so we can keep them straight. Notice that if you've got the shiny reflection turns on, you can actually see the red light is casting a that little reflection right there. The blue light is casting that little reflection on the green and vice versa. It helps you do some debug of the uh, lighting situation that you got if you need to. Um, so in either case, what you'll see is, is a red, green, and blue prim have a red, green, and blue control buttons in here, and that allows you to control the color, the intensity, the radius, the fall off of each of these prims. So uh, we have an example of this thing. I also have a set of white rows. White is the sum of red, green, and blue, which is another way of saying talk to all three lights simultaneously. If I press the white intensity, set it down to zero, then what you see is, is that uh, the lights turn off, or I can go uh, set the intensity and click all the lights on, and uh, we're off to the races. Let me set it back to zero for a second here. And now I'm only gonna turn on this one light, the red light. And um, uh, Rembrandt lighting is based on the famous painter Rembrandt. And if you read any books on uh, real life photography lighting, this is a very common lighting. One light is high into the side. Um, you'll also notice a lot of photographers talk about accent lights, and that's because with that one light high in the side, it gets dark on the side, and you lose a little of the uh, you lose a little of the uh, s the scene here. So what I can do is I'll go turn this green light on, so you can see its impact here. And as soon as I turn the green light on, it just creates a nice little edge light that you can see that hits the side of her face, etc. So. Um, accent lights are always a good thing. Now, I usually typically have these intensity set uh, or radius is set fairly tight and it'll leave the bottom of the outfit not well illuminated. That's why I typically have a blue light here. And you can turn on the blue light. Point it's a little bright. Point 0.5 maybe. Yeah, it's not bad there. And um, obviously we don't want to take any pictures with these stupid balls in the way. So you press the hide button, poof, they're gone. And uh, we are off to shooting in the races. Um, there's a set of presets in here, so if you get the lighting exactly the way you like it, you hit, you hit preset, and then you can hit save and save it into an empty spot. Uh, for example, I can also restore the lighting to something else. These are some of the presets that I've saved in the past. I'll go back to the Rembrandt lighting for a second. Um, the other thing that you can do with lighting, or the other thing you can do is pose the model. I'm give an example of some posing here. I'm gonna press the uh, female button here, and uh, I'm going to actually filter this thing. I can go, I only want uh, poses with the name photography in them, and it says I've got five of those. And if I select that and select uh, 155. Now, notice what happened. Um, when she dropped to the ground, notice the lighting stays correct for Rembrandt here. So that's the magic of having wearable lights as opposed to studio lights, is, is these lights stay correct to her. And if I hit the... Uh, next pose button here and get her back standing again notice these lights uh these lights stay correct so since i'm on it let's talk about it there's a pose system and you can uh, load as many poses as you want in here i've got a filter system we turn them all on i've got 193 poses loaded into my personal one almost all of them are motion capture you can uh, catalog them as male and female um, as necessary and um, if there's a specific pose that you want to go find, like I was looking for photography photos, you just select 43, and then it only filters and shows the uh, shows you the photography ones. Um, Luma Pro comes with um, about 50 pre-done poses from five different pose vendors. Uh, if you like their poses, you can go get more. Um, you can keep those poses in. You can load your own poses in, um, and uh, again, you can catalog them and do whatever you need. Um, you can animate up to four models. 
um, including yourself and all of this. And, and you know, I've got two models in my studio and I can just select back and forth between the two models and, uh, and pose the models as necessary. Now, another thing I can do is, is I have something called a projector. Um, the projector can either be something that's worn or something that's resed in world. Um, if you have no ability to res, notice that um, all of this works just great. Um, she's in, uh, um, there's no prim resed in world at this point in time. In fact, I can even do the projector. Let me show you a projector. I hit res and projector. And what you see up here is a projector. It's this little guy right here. It's a, it's a can, it's a light with that projects a light. Um, the way you position this light is, is there's uh, joystick controls on the, uh, on the HUD and I can go up, I can go left, I can go uh, right, I can go down, etc. to get the light just the way I want it in the scene. And the nice thing is I don't have to look at the projector, I can zoom in on her and then pick the location of the shadow that, that I like. Notice the balls project shadows, so obviously you would hit hide and you're off shooting. Now, one of the fun things you can do with the uh, projector is, is um, you can either click the back of the can or press this little button here. And there are other bulbs that uh, the projector can do besides just a floodlight. So, for example, I can throw a medium spotlight on her. Um, and uh, now there's a spotlight uh, on her that's, uh, that's uh, kind of interesting. And based, based on how much movement she does, is, uh, you'll get a different amount of light. Um, there's a set of black buttons, so I can set the uh, color of these lights, for example. I can go pick a... Uh, like a violet light or um, cooling is kind of fun. Yeah, I'll stick with the violet. And um, then you can also set the saturation of the light. This is maybe a little too violet, and so I can actually throttle it down. You know, point 0.2 is effectively a white light, or I can go very violet on the light. Uh, let's, let's stick to uh, point 0.7, something like that. Um, the other thing the projector has is something called a gobo. And let me take the bulb back to a floodlight. And um, I can then place a gobo or go between here, and I'm going to pick a window gobo. And what's going to happen is, is you'll see a little black prim I'm starting. To give it a second to res here. Is being placed in front of it, and if you notice, um, the light projects through the prim and uh, goes on to her like that. So I can go hide these. Uh, by the way, it's fascinating. I think that even the balls get uh, get to see that here. And let me hide this, hide everything, and now we can shoot uh, with that. I can decide maybe I want to adjust the position of this light, etc. And we're off to races uh, for photography. Now, let me de-res this thing for a second. And I'm going to pick a static pose. I'll we'll pick uh, some of the shag poses, which are some of my favorites in here. So I'm going to pick her just in a static pose so we can uh, hold her still for, uh, for this discussion. Now, let's talk about the animation gazer. Um, if you notice, there's a uh, picture of an eye sitting up in here, and what this does is this gives you a small joystick. And so, let's, for example, if I pick the center, her eye moves into the center. I can uh, click over here, her eye goes left. I can click over in here, her eye goes right. Now, this has uh, been in, in some of the uh, competing products that we sell. What I've never seen in a competing product is this, where I can go a little bit more right, a little less right, a little less right, a little less right, go right into the center. I can go a little bit more. Um, I can do the same thing with up and down. And I can also uh, mix them together and go up and right and down and right, et cetera. You see how, it, you can kind of see how this goes here. Now, um, mentioned to you that I can uh, do animations on multiple people. I can actually go select over into me and I'll pick a male, a uh, male pose for myself here. Well, it's not terribly male, but um, um, I can do the same thing here. I can uh, uh, move my eye position um, to the left here I can move my eye position to the right, and um, then I can go select back to Angora, go back and focus on her, and she's still over in her pose. And now you have seen LumaPro in action. Um, if you press the help button, it takes you to our blog, all the training videos and the manuals are up there, and has everything that you need. Um, got any questions? You're always welcome to ask the group or ask myself or Colleen. Take care, you guys.